Hi, this is John Davin, the Web Tools Guy. And I want to thank you for being here to the webinar today. And just remind you that at the end of the webinar, we're going to be offering a free checklist on how to build your own webinars. So be sure to watch out for that at the end of the webinar. Uh, so your first question probably is, what is a webinar? Well, a webinar is a virtual meeting, but it's given through the Internet instead of in person. So why is a webinar so powerful? Well, a webinar is a great sales, training, and support tool because of the following reasons. Number one is you can share videos in your webinar room once you've invited everybody into the conference room. Number two is you can share web pages so any website on the internet can be shared in your conference room. Number three is you can share presentations. So if you have a PowerPoint presentation that either you created or your corporation created, you can load that into our software, into the webinar software, and share it with everyone in the webinar. Now, the next thing you do, number four, is you can share your desktop. And that basically means anything you do on your computer, whether it's a spreadsheet, word processor, database, whatever, you can share that. And a lot of people use that certainly for selling, but also people use it for training purposes. Now, the fifth thing you can do is that you can share text and voice conversations with the people in the conference room. This is great. You can even record it all and share it. So you can give a webinar, you can talk about your products and services, and even take people to the product uh, purchase page at the very end of the webinar, and then you can be recording that the entire time. Once you've done that, you can share it with other people by putting it on a CD, an MP3 player, or you can put it on a website and allow anybody to access it through the internet. But how do you get started giving a professional webinar? Well, I suggest you download my free checklist. I have put it together so that you can have a general idea of what software you should use, what the topics can be, how to deal with guests who are going to be in the webinar with you, how to plan it in the, in the, the uh, very beginning stages so you can get people to the webinar. And so what I would do is suggest that you download that checklist, read it, and learn more about what you can do to give your professional sales generating webinar. You just request that checklist at howtobuildawebinar.com. Some of the things that we're going to be talking about are sort of a simple question and answer session. So the first thing we're going to address is what is a webinar? And as I said, I'm going to be telling you that it is a opportunity for you to meet with people from around the world in a conference room where you can share your voice conversations through voice over IP. Don't worry about the acronym. Uh, voice over IP is, VoIP is just a, a new technology that allows you to make phone calls or to be in the conference room and talk back and forth. And as I said earlier, it's going to allow you to share PowerPoint presentations. It's going to allow you to take people to a specific website on the Internet. All of that is addressed in this checklist. I'm also going to be showing you some examples of print screens so that you'll know what a webinar room looks like, what are the different sections. Uh, like, for example, on the screen you're looking at now, the middle will tell you actually what website you're at, or you could have a PowerPoint presentation there. So on the left-hand side, you have who is speaking, and on the right-hand side of the screen, you're going to see who all is in the room, and then any text messages that are being sent back and forth. Another question that we're going to address is, how do people make money with webinars? And we'll have five or six different examples of different industries, such as a real estate agent or a salesperson or somebody who does training. We're going to show you how those people would make money with a webinar. Then we're going to be talking about what software you could use to build a webinar, to give your very own webinar. We're even going to show you where you can go and download a trial version of the software and use it for free. Actually, it's a dollar. It's almost free uh, for 14 days. So you'll have that link inside the book. And then we're actually going to get to the checklist. And we're going to show you how to plan your next webinar in this checklist. We're going to ask you very specific questions, such as what is the title of the webinar? And we're going to have a, the description of it. When it is, what time it starts, how long it lasts. We're going to talk about whether it costs money or if it's going to be a free webinar. We're going to be talking about the main topics. Uh, that's just on the front page. That's the very first page. On the second page, we're going to be talking about things like who are going to be your guest speakers and what are the topics that they're going to be talking about. 
You're going to be talking about things also in this checklist, like are you going to have specific questions for your guest speaker? And if so, you'll have them all listed here. So by the time you get into that webinar, you're going to be prepared to have a professional webinar. Another page that we have here is tasks that are to be completed either uh, five to 30 days before the webinar. Things like setting up a registration form so that people can actually go to your website, fill in their email address and their name, and let you know that that person will be attending your webinar. And then the second step of this is that I have another checklist for sending out emails to that person who's just registered to make sure that they know, let's say a week before the event, and then five days before the event, and then maybe a day before the event, and even that day of the event, when that webinar is going to be. So it's going to send them friendly reminders just to say, hey, John, you're going to have the webinar, and then it'll also include a website address where they can visit to access the webinar. Another th section of the checklist is going to be talking about marketing. And we just have a series of checklists that you have to put a check mark. You know, items that you need to do, like sending out the invitations by email, sending out an invitation by U.S. mail, if you decide to do that. Uh, things like creating a press release for your webinar. Did you send this information out in notification to your Facebook account, on your blog, on your website? There are a lot of ways to let people know about your webinar so that you'll have good attendance. But if you don't have a checklist to make sure that you do each step, it may not get done. Another page in the checklist is things to do right before the webinar. A lot of times people are a little bit nervous when they have to give a webinar. Well, I tell you, take a big breath. When I mean, you actually have to put a check mark by it, take a big breath. You know, get a drink of water. Maybe you need to make sure that you've turned off your cell phone and your pager. Turn off your email so that your computer doesn't beep saying you have email in the middle of a presentation. And then we talk about things that you're going to be needing to do as the webinar begins. You know, if you're going to be uh, introducing a guest speaker, you need to know how you're going to introduce them. You're going to need to know that you have your PowerPoint presentations ready. You need to have a list of the websites that you're going to be visiting ready. A lot of little details that need to be written down. So then as the webinar is winding down, there's some things you're going to want to do at the end of that webinar. For example, you're going to want to make sure that you review the benefits of your product or service. You're going to want to make sure that they know why they need to buy it. You're going to want to make sure that you've taken them to the website where they can actually order the product or service. Another thing at the end of the webinar you're going to want to do is take a survey. You're going to find out, hey, did people like the presentation or did they not like it? What did they think was missing? Was it too long? Was it too short? Well, survey is going to get those answers for you. Another thing that we're going to do after the webinar is we're going to make sure that you follow up with people that have attended the webinar. We're going to make sure that you send them a thank you letter by email or the U.S. mail. We're going to make sure that if you have a catalog, that the catalog gets sent to them. We're going to make sure that you have them interested in, I'm sorry, entered into your mailing list, your email list. So they're going to be getting your newsletter automatically every time you send one out. Lots and lots of things that we're going to be talking to you about and making sure that you do right. So at this point, you're probably wondering, well, hey, that's great. Well, how do I get that checklist? Hey, it's real simple. All you do is go to www.howtobuildawebinar.com. And as the next screen will show you, all you have to do where the red arrow is, is enter your name and your email address, and we're going to send you that checklist. Just in a matter of a couple minutes, you'll be reading that checklist. Well, this is John Davin, the Web Tools Guy. really want you to thank you for being here for the webinar today. I hope you've learned a bit about webinars and how you can use webinars in your business to generate more sales and more profits. We'll see you in the next webinar.